Alapuja pronunciation, also known by its former name Alepi, is the administrative headquarters of Alapuja district in the Indian state of Kerala. Alapuja is a city and a municipality in Kerala with an urban population of 174,164 and ranks third among the districts in literacy rate in the state of Kerala. In 2016, the Centre for Science and Environment rated Alapuja as the cleanest town in India. Alapuja is considered to be the oldest planned city in this region and the lighthouse built on the coast of the city is the first of its kind along the Locative Sea coast. The city is situated 28 kilometers from Changanasheri, 46 kilometers from Khatiyam, 53 kilometers from Kochi, 129.4 kilometers from Thrissur and 155 kilometers north of Trivandrum. A town with canals, backwaters, beaches, and lagoons, Alapuja was described by Lord Curzon as the Venice of the East. Hence, it is known as the Venetian capital of Kerala. In Alapuja, Malayalam is the most spoken language. It is an important tourist destination in India. The backwaters of Alapuja are the most popular tourist attraction in Kerala. A houseboat cruise in these backwaters can be booked. It connects Kumarakam and Cochin to the north and Keelan to the south. Apart from houseboat services, the Kerala State Water Transport Department provides government boat services within the district. It is also the access point for the annual Nehru Trophy boat race, held on the Punamata Lake, near Alapuja, on the second Saturday of August every year. This is the most competitive and popular of the boat races in India. The Mulakal Kairap is also one of the attractions of Alapuza which is the festive season held for 10 days every year in December. Other attractions in Alapuja are Alapuja Beach, offering a views of the Locative Sea, Pathiramanal, Ambalapuja Shri Krishna Temple, St. Andrew's Basilica, Arthunkal, Manarasala Temple, Chetikulangara Devi Temple, Haripad Shri Subramanya Swami Temple, Krishnapuram Palace, Thakaji Shri Dharma Sastha Temple, Mulakal Temple, Padanilam Parabrahma Temple, Edithwa Church, Alapuja CSI Christ Church oldest Anglican Church in central Kerala and Champakulam Valley Pali. Alapuja is home to the Panapra Vialar uprising against the British and also the revolt against the feudal Raj. Communist Party members were killed by the army of the Dewan, 200 people at Panapra on 24 October and more than 150 at Vialar on 27 October. The total loss of life is allegedly estimated to be more than a thousand. Core is the most important commodity manufactured in Alapuja. The Core Board was established by the central government under the provisions of the Core Industry Act, 1955. A central core research institute is located at Calivor. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Carved out of the erstwhile Khatiyam and Keelan districts, Alapuja district was formed on 17 August 1957 and consisted initially of seven taliks, namely Chirthala, Ambalapuja, Kutanad, Thiravala, Changanur, Karthikapali and Mavalikara. The name Alapuja is a toponym. A lam means water and puja means watercourse or river, according to Dr. Herman Gundert's dictionary. The name refers to the network of waterways and backwaters that Alapuja and surrounding areas. Puse, in Tamil means gateway or window. This might have been the original meaning in ancient Malayalam too. The district is bounded on the north by Kochi and Kanayanur Taliks of Ernakulam district, on the east by Vaikom, Khatiyam and Changanasari Taliks of Khatiyam district and Thiravala and Kojanshari Taliks of Pathanamthitta district, on the south by Kunathar and Karunagapali Taliks of Kolam district and on the west by Locative C. The present Alapuja district comprises six Taliks, namely Chirthala, Ambalapuja, Kutanad, Karthikapali, Changanur and Mavalikara. The area of the district is 1,414 square kilometers. The district headquarters is located at Alapuja. Topic. 
Topic: History. In the early first decade of the 20th century the Viceroy of the Indian Empire, Lord Curzon made a visit in the state to Aleppi, now Alapuja. Fascinated by the scenic beauty of the place, he exclaimed, here nature has spent up on the land her richest bounties. Aleppi, the Venice of the East. Kutanad, the rice bowl of Kerala, with its paddy fields, small streams and canals with lush green coconut palms, was well known even from the early periods of the Sangam age. History says Alapuja had trade relations with Greece and Rome in the Middle Ages. The early Cheras, who had their home in Kutanad, were called backquote Kutuvans backquote, so named after this place. Pliny and Ptolemy of the 1st and 2nd centuries had mentioned places like Puricad or Barachi in their classical works. Literary works like Unnunili Sandesum give some insight into the ancient period of this district. Archaeological antiquities, such as the stone inscriptions, historical monuments found in the temples, churches, and rock cut caves, also emphasize the historic importance of Alapuja district. Christianity had a foothold in this district, even from the 1st century AD. The church located at Kokamangalam was one of the seven churches founded by St. Thomas, one of the twelve disciples of Jesus Christ. It is generally believed that he landed at Malyankara in Muziris port, presently known as Kranganur or Kodungalar, in 52 AD and preached Christianity in South India. The district flourished in religion and culture under the Second Shara Empire, during 9th to 12th centuries AD. The literary work, backquote Asharya Chudamani backquote, a Sanskrit drama written by Saktibhadran, a scholar of Chenganur, enables us to know many pertinent facts. Further, the temple on Lord Ayapan, in Mukulvadam near Muhama in Alapuja district, is called Chirapanchira, for the Kalari from which Lord Ayyappa learnt his martial arts. A recent album by P. Uni Krishnan on Lord Ayyappa, titled Sabaramalai V.A. Karanam Sali V.A., has songs illustrating the history of this temple and Lord Ayyappa's stay here before he went to conquer the Mahishi demon. Since landing in Calicut in 1498, the Portuguese started playing an influential role in Alapuja. They began by spreading Catholicism and converting already existing Christians into Catholics. The famous St. Andrew's Basilica was built by them during this period. In the 17th century, as the Portuguese power declined, the Dutch gained a predominant position in the principalities of this district. They built many factories and warehouses for storing pepper and ginger, relying on several treaties signed between the Dutch and the Rajas of Puricod, Kayamkulam and Karapuram. In course of time they also delved into the political and cultural affairs of the district. At that time Maharaja Marthanda Varma 1706 to 1758, who was the maker of modern Travancore, intervened in the political affairs of those princedoms. Travancore Dewan Ramayan Dalawa, d. 1756, resided in Mavalikara where he had a palace built by Marthanda Varma. After the death of his wife, Ramayan consorted with a Nair lady from Mavalikara of the Edassari family, P. G. N. Unathan, a member of this family, later became the last Dewan of Travancore in 1947. After his death Ramayan's descendants left Travancore to settle in Pudukatai in Tamil Nadu. His Nair consort was given gifts and presents and special allowances from the Travancore government in recognition of his services to the state while his own descendants were bestowed with the honorific title of Dalawa. In the 19th century the district saw progress in many spheres. One of the five subordinate courts opened in the state in connection with the reorganization of the judicial system by Colonel George Monroe was located at Mavalikara. The first post office and first telegraph office in the former Travancore state were established in this district. The first manufacturing factory for the core mats was established in 1859. In 1894 the City Improvement Committee was set up. The district played a role in the freedom struggle of the country. 
The struggles of Panapra and Vyalar in 1946 arrayed the people against Sir C. P. Ramaswamy Iyer, who was Dewan of Travancore. This led to Ramaswamy Iyer's exit from the political scene of Travancore. A popular ministry was formed in Travancore on 24 March 1948 after India's independence. Travancore and Cochin states were integrated on 1 July 1949. This arrangement continued until the formation of Kerala State on 1 November 1956, under the State's Reorganisation Act 1956. The district came into existence as a separate administrative unit on 1 August 1957. Topic. Geography Alapuja is located at 9.54 degrees north 76.40 degrees east, 9.54, 76.40. The average elevation is 1 meter, 3.3 feet. Alapuja covers an area of 1,414 square kilometers (546 square miles) and is flanked by 2,195 square kilometers (847 square miles) of Vembanad Lake, where six major rivers spread out before joining the 80 kilometers coastline of the district. The city of Alapuja is crisscrossed by a system of canals, which is a part of the National Waterway 3 India. The district is a sandy strip of land intercepted by lagoons, rivers and canals. There are no mountains or hills in the district except some scattered hillocks lying between Barani Kavu and Chenganur blocks in the eastern portion of the district. There are no forest area in this district. Alapuja is bounded by the Locative Sea on its west. The town has a network of lakes, lagoons and fresh water rivers. The richness of the coastal Alapuja waters is expressed annually in the blooming and consequent deposit of a huge quantity of fishes and prawns on the Alapuja coast called Chikara. This annual shifting of sandbank appears during the post-monsoon period and contributes to the local economy and is a festive season for the people of Kerala. The annual floods rejuvenate and cleanse the soil and water due to which there is abundance of marine life like prawns, lobsters, fishes, turtles, and other flora in the sea. The backwaters and wetlands host thousands of migrant common teal, ducks and cormorants every year who reach here from long distances. A major feature of the area is the region called Kutanad, the granary of Kerala. Kutanad is also known as the rice bowl of Kerala and is one of the few places in the world where farming is done below sea level. The paddy fields lie about 0.6 to 2 meters below mean sea level. Topic. Climate Owing to its proximity to the sea, the climate of Alapuja is humid and hot during the summer, although it remains fairly cool and pleasant during the months of October and November. The average monthly temperature is 27 C. The district gets the benefit of two seasonal monsoons, as in other parts of the state. Alapuja town experiences a long monsoon season with heavy showers as both the southwest monsoon and northeast monsoon influences the weather of Alapuja. The southwest monsoon affects the climate in the months from June to September. On the other hand, the northeast monsoon brings rain from October to November. The average rainfall received by the region is 2,763 mm. Topic. Demographics According to 2011 census, Alapuja district has a population of 21, 21,943 with 10, 10,252 men and 11, 11,691 women with a population density of 1492 persons per square kilometre. There are 186,022 persons under 6 years of age in Alapuja district. 
The literacy rate of Alapuja stands at 96.26% out of which 8, 95,476 are males and 9, 68,082 are females. Alapuja has a decadal population growth of 0.61%. Alapuja has a sex ratio of 1100 and the urban agglomeration had a population of 282,675 in 2001. The population is predominantly Hindu and Christian, and there are sizable numbers of Muslims. The most widely spoken language is Malayalam, although many people speak Konkani. The standard dialect of Malayalam spoken is Central Travancore dialect. Konkani is a language that is spoken in the Konkan region. During the Portuguese and Dutch invasions of the 16th and 18th centuries, many Konkanis migrated southwards to Thiravur, Chirthala and Alapuja in the state of Travancore as well as other places in Kerala like Cochin, Kodungalar, and Kolam. A majority of these people settled in Alapuja. Topic. Economy The economy of the district is based on agriculture and marine products. The agricultural activities predominantly revolve around Kutanad region, the rice bowl of Kerala. Though the district is industrially backward, some traditional industries based on core and core products, marine products, handlooms, different types of handicrafts, toddy tapping have been active from the very early times. The district is known as the traditional home of core industry in Kerala. The availability of raw materials and the existence of backwaters and canals suitable for the getting of green husk and accessibility of transportation are the main factors of the development of this industry. Arabs had carried on trade in core products from very ancient period. The manufacture of mats and mattings were first introduced in 1859 by Mr. James Dura. The core board was established by the central government under the provisions of the Core Industry Act, 1955. A core research institute functions at Calivore. The National Core Training and Designing Center was established at Alapuja in 1965. Core is the most important commodity manufactured in Alapuja, Kayamkulam, Kakathamangalam, Kamalapuram, Mananchari, Muhama, and Vialar. Core products are available in Chirthala and Mananchari, lime shell in Arukutti and Kodamtharath, plywood in Chenganur, Keltran controls in Aror, potassium chloride in Mavalikara, and coconut in Thanirmukam. The other important commodities manufactured in these towns are copra, coconut oil, glass, mats, and matches. In recent times, tourism has become a major source of revenue. This is mainly due to the presence of houseboats that provide the tourists with a view of the scenic backwaters of the town. Another reason is the proximity to other tourist spots like Munnar, Varkala, Alapuja and Wayanad. Topic. Backwater paddy cultivation, Kyle cultivation. The major occupation in Alapuja is farming. The rice bowl of Kerala, Kutanadu is located in Alapuja. Large farming areas near Vembanad Lake were reclaimed from the lake. In earlier times, the reclamation was done mainly from the shallow part of the Vembanad Lake or from the periphery of River Pamba. These reclamations constituted small areas of paddy fields called padsakaram. The bailing out of water from those fields were done manually using water wheels chakram. Gradually the manual method used for bailing out of water gave way to steam engines. Three stages can be identified in the reclamation of lands from the Vembanad Lake. In the first stage it was carried out by private entrepreneurs without any financial support from the part of the government. The Padam Proclamation, made by the Travancore Kingdom in the year 1865, gave a great boost to the reclamation activities between 1865 and 1890. During this period dewatering of the polders were done manually, using waterwheels, restricting large-scale reclamations. Only about 250 hectares of land were reclaimed during this period. 
Fanadu Lake and Madathal Lake that were reclaimed during this period are considered as the first Kyle Nilam Lake reclaimed land, which were reclaimed from Vembanad Lake. The pioneering reclamation activity of lake reclamation and cultivation was made by two brothers Matai Luka Palathanam and Uzuf Luka Palathanam belonging to Kainadi village in Kutanadu. The period between 1865 and 1890 is usually considered as the first phase of lake cultivation. The introduction of kerosene engines for dewatering resulted in the reclamation of wider areas of the lake for cultivation. It made the farmers consider venturing into the deeper parts of the lake. During the period between 1898 and 1903, reclamation activity was led by Palathanam Luka Matai alias Palathanathu Mathachan, who reclaimed the Cherikara Kyle and Palathanam Muvayuram Kyle. Houseboat is one among the main attraction of Alapuja, the second phase 1890-1903 of reclamation activities came to a halt because of the ban on lake reclamation imposed by the Madras government in 1903. Cherikali Kyle, Rama Rajapuram Kyle, Arapanku Kyle, Panthandu Panku Kyle and Mathi Kyle were the other major reclamations during this period. In 1912, the Madras government approved a proposal from the Travancore government for further reclamations in three stages. Under this reclamation scheme areas were notified for reclamation in blocks each named by an alphabet letter. Out of the total area of 19,500 acres of reclaimed land 12,000 acres were reclaimed between 1913 and 1920. The reclamations between 1914 and 1920 are known as new reclamations, which were carried out in three periods. In the first period blocks A to G measuring 6,300 acres were reclaimed, C block, D block, Adamukam Arayiram, Atumatu Kyle, Tek Arayiram and Vidake Arayiram and E block, Irupathanalayiram Kyle, F block, Judges Arayiram Kyle and G block, Kochu Kyle are the major reclamations during this period. During the second period of new reclamation, blocks H to N measuring 3,600 acres were reclaimed. During the third period of new reclamation, R block measuring 1,400 acres were reclaimed. Due to the steep decline in the price of rice during 1920 to 1940, the reclamation activities became sluggish, but they gained momentum again in the early 1940s. During this period, in order to increase the agricultural output, government initiated a Grow More Food campaign and provided incentives to encourage new reclamations. The advent of electric motors made the reclamation easier, cheaper and less risky as compared to the earlier periods. The last tract of the reclamations namely Q, S and T block were made during this period. Topic. Transport Topic. Road Topic. National Highways National Highway 66 India is one of the longest national highway in India. It connects Panvel to Kanyakumari and crisscrosses through Alapuja town. National Highway 66 India connects Alapuja town to other major cities like Mumbai, Udupi, Mangalore, Kannur, Kori Kode, Ernakulam, Kolam, and Trivandrum. There is a plan to upgrade State Highway 11 Kerala to National Highway to help connect Alapuja to Kodakanal as part of promoting Coastal Hill Tourism Project. Topic. State highways There are eight state highways in Alapuja district, of which three of them originates from Alapuja town. State Highway 11 Kerala starts from Kalarkode and ends at Peruna. This highway is locally known as AC Road, Alapuja-Changanasari Road and it covers a distance of 24.2 km. State Highway 11 Kerala is an important road which connects Alapuja town with Khatiyam district. 
State Highway 40, Kerala, is an interstate highway in Alappuzha district which connects Alappuzha town with Madurai in Tamil Nadu. State Highway 40, Kerala, is the only interstate highway in Alappuzha district. State Highway 66, Kerala, originates from Alappuzha town and terminates at Thapampati. There are two bus terminals are situated in Alappuzha town, one for KSRTC buses situated near State Water Transport Corporation headquarters, Boat Jetty Road, and the municipal bus stand for private buses situated near Vajacheri. KSRTC buses connect Alappuzha with cities like Kochi, Trivandrum. City buses are green and white colored, formerly white and brown. City buses connect Alapuja with places like Mananchari, Kalavur, Iradakulangara, Kanjipadam, and Aspinwal. Some buses connect Alapuja to Chirthala through Coastal Highway and Kanishakulangara route. Topic. Water The presence of a lot of backwaters and canals makes water transport a popular means of transport. National Waterway 3 passes through Alapuja. There is a SWTD boat jetty in the city that lies opposite to the KSRTC bus stand. It is served by boat services to Changanasari town and Katiyam, Kolam cities besides other small towns and jetties. Availing an SWTD boat is a cheaper alternative to houseboats for visiting tourists. Topic. Rail Alapuja is linked by Ernakulam Kayamkulam Coastal Railway Line and connects to cities like Trivandrum, Keelan, Kolam, Cochin, Coimbatore, Chennai, Delhi, Bikara, and Mumbai. The railway station is about 4 kilometres from the heart of the city. A total of four trains originate from Alapuja to cities like Kannur, Chennai, Danbad, and Tatanagar. There are a lot of local trains running throughout the day, which connect Alapuja to other towns nearby. Since Alapuja is a prime destination, trains from important cities like Delhi, Chandigarh, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Mangalore, Khorikode and Amritsar pass through this station. Topic. Air Cochin International Airport, which is 78 kilometers 48 miles to the north, is the closest airport. Tiruvananthapuram International Airport, 159 kilometers 99 miles to the south, is the other airport that links the district with other countries. International tourists use these airports to reach Alapuja. The other nearest airports are located at Kori Code, 236 kilometers, 147 miles, and Coimbatore, 254 kilometers, 158 miles. A helipad in the town is reserved for government uses. Topic: Sports. Alapuja is globally famous for snake boat races, especially Nehru Trophy Boat Race held in the Punamata Lake near Alapuja. In 1952, when Jawaharlal Nehru the first Prime Minister of India visited Kerala, the people of Aleppi decided to give a special entertainment for their prestigious guest and conducted a snake boat race. Jawaharlal Nehru got so excited by this event and he jumped into Natabagam Chundan, a snake boat, ignoring the security officials. By this excitement of sailing in a snake boat he donated a rolling trophy to be awarded to the winner of the race. Other than snake boat race cricket, football, basketball and rowing are among the most popular sports in town. In 2015, Kerala Cricket Association inaugurated KCA Cricket Stadium Alapuja which is an A-class cricket stadium. Another stadium named as M Stadium or Municipal Stadium is under construction in Alapuja. Topic. Notable people 
V. S. Achuthanandan, former Chief Minister of Kerala and one of the most senior communist politicians of India. Thakazi Savasankara Pillai, novelist and short story writer, recipient of India's highest literary award, the Jnanpith. Vyalar Ramavarma, Malayalam poet and film lyricist. Srikumaran Thampi, lyricist, director, producer, and screenwriter in Malayalam cinema. M. K. Sanu, writer, critic and social activist, a permanent member of International Body for Human Rights. K. R. Gowri Ama, Revenue Minister in the first Kerala LDF Ministry, initiated the revolutionary land reforms in Kerala, Agriculture Minister in Kerala UDF Ministry. A. K. Antony, Thrice Chief Minister of Kerala in UDF Ministry, former Indian Defence Minister. Vyalar Ravi, former Home Minister of Kerala in UDF Ministry, former Union Cabinet Minister of Overseas Indian Affairs and Minister for Parliamentary Affairs. Irayaman Thampi, Carnatic musician as well as a music composer from Kerala. C.K. Chandrapan, Communist leader and former Member of Parliament. S. Ramachandran Pillai, Politburo member of the Communist Party of India, Marxist, and General Secretary of All India Kisan Sabha, Peasants Union. S. D. Shibulal, Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director of Infosys. Prasanth Paramaswaran, Kerala First Class Cricketer, Indian Premier League Royal Challengers Bangalore player. Joman T. John, Indian Cinematographer. Raithish, Malayalam film actor Nedamudi Venu, Malayalam film actor Fazil, Malayalam film director Kunchako Boban, Malayalam cine actor Faha Fasil, Malayalam cine actor Saji Thomas, sportsman, Arjuna awardee Navajyothi Sri Karanakara Guru, founder of Santhagiri Ashram P. S. Karthikeyan, former secretary, S. N. Trust, former director of S. N. D. P. Yogam, former member of the Legislative Assembly, Aurora, chief editor of Dynamani Daily. P. Paramaswaran, director, Bharathiya Vachara Kendram. Jagannatha Varma, Kathakali artist, actor in Malayalam film and serial. Rajiva Lunkal, film lyricist and poet. Vyalar Sarath Chandravarma, film lyricist Riaz M.T., Malayalam film actor Ashokan, Malayalam film actor Rajan P. Dev, Malayalam film actor and drama, theatre personality S. L. Puram Sadanandan, Malayalam playwright and film scriptwriter Chelangit Gopalakrishnan, writer and film critic Joy J. Kaimaparamban, English and Malayalam author Reynolds Parakal, servant of God, Catholic priest and known as Valichan of Alapuja Idi Achudan, the major contributor of ethno-medical information for the compilation of Hortus Malabaricus. Palakal Toma Malpan, founder of the Carmelites of Mary Immaculate M.G.R. Joseph C. Panjikaran, founder of the Medical Sisters of St. Joseph P. J. Thomas, Polail, Chief Secretary, Kerala Radhika, Malayalam actress, Malayalam cine actress Velapali Natazan, General Secretary of SNDP Yogam G. Sudhakaran, belongs to the Communist Party of India, Marxist, and represents Ambalapuja constituency M. G. Srikumar, musician, singer, music director Ramesh Chenathala, former Home Minister and current leader of the opposition of Kerala Navadaya Apachan, Malayalam movie producer and businessman Jijo Panus, film director Padmarajan, film director Professor R. Narendraprasad, film actor, writer, critic Professor T. T. Srikumar, writer, academic, columnist. 
Kandankara, N. Krishnan Unathan, poet, writer. Mavalikara Panama, film actress, drama artist. V. P. Sivakumar, short story writer. Siam Pushkaran, Malayalam film scriptwriter. Topic: Administration and politics. The two administrative systems prevailing in the district are revenue and local self-government. Under the revenue system, the district is divided into two revenue divisions, six taliks and 91 villages. The two revenue divisions are Alapuja division comprising Chirthala, Ambalapuza and Kutanad Taliks consisting of 47 villages and Chenganur division comprising Karthikapali, Chenganur and Mavalikara Taliks consisting of 44 villages. For census purposes, Aror, Arukutti, Kodamtharath, Thanirmukam Vidaku, Tanirmukam Teku, Vyalar East and Kakathamangalam village, except the portions included in Chirthala municipality are treated in the 1981 census as census towns based on the threefold criteria adopted for treating a place as census town. Under the local self-government system, the district is divided into five statutory towns and development blocks consisting of 71 panchayats. The jurisdiction of a development block includes the areas falling in census towns also, there were nine legislative assembly segments in Alapuja district for the 2011 assembly elections. They are Aror, Chirthala, Alapuja, Kutanad, Haripad, Kayamkulam, Mavalikara and Chenganur. Alapuja Assembly constituency is part of Alapuja Lok Sabha constituency. The other Lok Sabha constituency of the district is Mavalikara. Topic: <laughs> Education. There are schools, computer institutes and colleges all over the district, with nine training schools, 405 lower primary schools, 105 high schools and 87 higher secondary schools. The first school in Alapuja, the Church Missionary Society CMS school, was established in 1816. The school was established by the Rev. Thomas Norton, the first CMS missionary to India. The school is run by the CSI Christ Church, Alapuja. The first higher secondary school in Alapuja was the Leo XIII Higher Secondary School, which was opened on 1 June 1889 by Portuguese Bishop John Gomes Pereira of Cochin. The first polytechnic college in Alapuja was the Carmel Polytechnic College, established by Father Gilbert Paleycunnel and it's managed by CMI Congregation. Carmel is the academically top-ranked polytechnic in the state still. Colleges in Alapuja offer both graduate and postgraduate courses for their students. Major college institutes College of Engineering, Chirthala Cochin University College of Engineering Kutanad Sanitana Dharma College SDV College of Arts and Applied Science Sri Narayana College Chirthala, SN College Kanjikuji NSS College Chirthala Government College, Ambalapuza College of Engineering and Management, Panapra Mar Gregorios College Panapra College of Engineering Chenganur College of Applied Sciences, Mavalikara Carmel College of Engineering and Technology Alapuja Government TD Medical College, Alapuja St. Joseph's College for Women, Alapuja St. Michael's College, Chirthala T.K. Madhava Memorial College Street. Aloysius College Edithwa Topic. See also List of people from Alapuja Travancore Labor Association Technical Higher Secondary School, Chirthala, Palapuram Ernakulam Kayamkulam Coastal Railway Line 
KCA Cricket Stadium, Alapuja.